welcome. Today I want to show you how to cut back the canard on your tabla drum. The canard is the outer layer of leather and there are various reasons why you might want to do that. It could be damage, it could be a tear, it could it be that it's too big and that it's muting the drum slightly. So I'd like to show you that process. So let's dive in. For cutting the canard on both drums, what we're going to need is a carpet knife or a box cutter knife and uh, a, a nice sharp new blade on that. Then a flat piece of wood and what I have here is a piece of bamboo. It's like a bamboo uh, butter knife kind of a thing. I actually found it uh, in Japantown in San Francisco. There's a hardware store that's basically across the street from the Kabuki Hotel. So I found these. I, I bought a few of these guys and they're just really perfect. And as you can see, there's a little notch that I make on both sides, one's further in, one's further out. And that's so that I can fit it nicely under the canar without too much stress on the canar. And I can find that notch with the knife and cut through. And then the knife actually sits in the groove so that it doesn't slip off of that. I want it to, to be in the groove. Of course, you also don't want it to go all the way through, right? So um, that sits underneath there. You find that notch and you just are pulling and guiding. This is similar to the tool that they use in India. Uh, it's just a travel friendly version. So to start with, of course, we have to be careful in this process. But for this Baya, it's, it's, uh, it's turned out okay. I just I put this head on um, and it's starting to break in a little bit, but it's still a little bit muted. The canard is a little bit on the big side. It's not always a problem just because it's a big canard, but if the tone if your experience of the tone is that it's muffled, then this process can help a little bit release more vibration of the head. And um, this is also a really important skill to have, even for cutting off a very small portion of the canar, because sometimes you have that edge of the canar and it's kind of, you know, a little bit curved or has gotten super duper thin and is kind of flapping around a little bit. So you can get some vibration out of that. You can also have that curve muting the drum. Sometimes it's curving up and then your fingers are kind of catching on it or it's making a snapping sound, All right? So anyway, uh, also, if you get a little slice for any reason, sometimes you get a little cut before that s continues and rips the whole canard, um, you can use this technique to kind of carve out that area and um, it won't affect the tuning very much if it's slightly uneven canar. But, um, you know, ideally we have a nice uh, even circle. In this case, the canar is a little bit out of round. It's not completely even all the way around. So I can maybe straighten that out. So I'm going to put piece of wood, my little bamboo butter knife, under the canard and trace the um, notch in as far as I'm thinking I want to cut the canard. And in this case, I'm just going to do a little bit, can always do it again, and find that notch. So I'm poking a hole right there into the, the canard and not into the head. <laughs> okay, and then I'm just going to guide it with my fingers. Okay, and just go slow. And you can 
kind of see the beginning of that cut. Okay, so this is really a small amount that I'm doing for the demo purposes. Make sure you get that there. And I'll just go around. Guide it with this, both hands. You don't want to pull too hard with your knife hand. Just a little bit, because you don't want to pull the knife off of the piece of wood. For obvious reasons. Okay, so. And I'm just gonna come out of the cut there. All right, you see that? So in that situation, I just cut off a little bit, let's say that was curved up or a little bit damaged area. So I just clean that up and um, I'll just take off this little bit here. So that's in the case of a damaged area. You can just clean off a little bit there. Now if I do a little bit more aggressive cut, so I'm going to take off a little more. I've already taken a little bit off there, so I'm just going to start with a little bit and it'll expand. So what I'm doing is, I can't gauge it from the center of the siahi here. I have to gauge how it looks from the rim to where I'm cutting. So on the bai, it's slightly different than on the daya, where I can use the siahi as a guide. Just go slow. So if your knife is not sharp enough, you'll be kind of wrestling with it. And that's when you can slip. I've yet, knock on bamboo, I've never slipped yet. I'm cutting lots of drums. And part of that is because <laughs> I've done a lot of my Guruji Zakir Hussain's drums on stage before a concert or at intermission to clean up something, or you know, he's had um, he's had canards that were uh, starting to break, and so I need to do this process. And um, I definitely don't want to mess that up. So I've gotten fairly consistently safe at it. There we go. Another piece of art you can use. Okay, let's look at a high drum for a sec. Okay, same thing. This is uh, not too bad. Uh, sometimes you'll find uh, the canar. You can see where the canar was. There's a black line on the sewer there. That's where this canar came up to. And then they cut it back to there. So I'm just going to cut it back a little bit. But on occasion, you'll, you'll get a drum from a maker and it'll be like all the way out to there, super thick uh, canar. And um, unless the sound is great, you know, sometimes it is, uh, you can cut it back a bit and release some of the high end. Same thing goes for that string as we talked about in the other maintenance video. That string helps raise up the canar. It releases the vibration of the head, but it also releases a little bit more of the high end. Okay, so it can really be effective, especially on the high drum. All right. So I'm just gonna cut back a little bit. A little bit goes a long way on the high drum. The low drum, usually you've got a bit more to work with. All right, so I'm going to trace that in just a little bit. 
Now you can do this on a, on a drum that is fully pegged up and tuned up to your D or C, whatever it is. Uh, there is more tension, so you have to be careful not to stress out. You don't want your cutting to rip the canard at all, of course. So uh, you can also do it uh, when you're in the process of pulling a drum um, and there's a little less tension on the head before the pegs go in. But you do want the head to have some tension to it so you can really tell how much you're cutting and how much is needed. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to take maybe a eighth of an inch off of here. And in this case, I can kind of help trace my circle by looking at the and feeling the siahi. So happy cutting, I should say safe cutting, and I'll see you next time.